I think I need a haircut. <laughs> what happened to my bangs? Good day, guys! It is that time of year. It is 90 degrees with humidity. <laughs> It's not my favorite type of weather. I like the heat, but I don't like the humidity. But of course, we're in the island of Manhattan, so what do you expect? Today, we are going to E ride, well, bike ride. Sometimes Chris takes the E, sometimes he takes the manual bike, but today I'm taking the E because I don't feel 100%. I'm gonna ride Manhattan, bitches, and see where it takes us. I'm gonna take you along with me and my big hair. <laughs> Let's go. Hola. El pin de labio que tengo puesto para este video es by Sigma Beauty and it's called Secret Garden. Howdy partner, are you single? I take that as a yes, right? <laughs> we are at Pier 57, the new rooftop bar. It's right next to the islands, which we haven't been to yet. Overlooking the island. Overlooking the island, but we haven't been there because every time we try and go, there's so many people. And you know, you know you're a true New Yorker when you just don't want to make lines. That's just the bottom line. There's lines the going line. right around the corner <laughs> and we don't want to make any more lines than we have to. <laughs> Really? I gotta work out more? He wants me to work out. Are you trying to tell me something, Daddy? <gasps> that bitch said I need to work out more. It's Divorce City. Comment down below if I should divorce his ass after saying that. <laughs> wow. come here and there's no bar I came to look for the rooftop bar and now he's like there's no bar as of yet give me a thumbs up if I should divorce him for that and I see some guy over there mooning me say hi to my little fluffy I call him Bono <laughs> not boner Chris Bono oh my god but this is it <clears throat> this is the pier. Okay, I left you guys last when I went running because the weather was just so beautiful and I have to run because it makes me feel good. And then today's another day and I just got in. So I figured I'd do an unboxing of a brand new sandals that I just got. I already wore them. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I already wore them. I couldn't wait, but let me show you. Here is the unboxing. Ah. And here is the sandals. I needed, like I said initially, sandals for work that had to be comfortable, but I didn't want like no, just any old, not old, like flat, boring type of shoes of course i want to kick it up a notch and let me tell you i haven't bought dr martin since i think i was like 16 years old that's crazy i think even my husband has gotten dr martin's but i haven't gotten anything dr martin's and i came across these and i was like these are perfect these are perfect for work they're comfortable i already wore them during the weekend when i went out with my husband and we got so drunk and it was so fun oh my god and then i regretted it the next day because i had a major headache but besides that i love them these are clearly Dr. Martens. They come in black as well. I opted for the white because I wanted to change it up, of course. And if I have the opportunity to do so, I'm gonna do that. And I didn't mind actually getting the white because the sole is uh, black and that's where the trouble lies for me, where it always gets dirty if I get a white sole. So I was like, all right, let me go for the white. Also, my husband picked the white, so I figured I'd go for it. These cost $150. They're, they're called the Giovanna Gladiator Platform Sandals. I also seen this in a flatter type of non-platform look in case you're not feeling the platform, but I thought that this was so edgy, more fashion forward for me. 
as you already know i love super stylish things and i feel like this is great i already wore them like i said so i'll probably pop up a picture up here so you can see how i wore it that first day for a casual cycling day in new york city but yeah they're super comfortable i'm a true size nine and these are a nine and they fit to a t they're all like belted here so there's no zipper like in case you just wanted to slip your, your feet in and then zip it up at first i was I found that to be a little bit of a con because when they have so many straps like this it becomes a nuisance but it's fine I work with them I love shoes so just keep that in mind that they're all belted straps I had to open them up all the way up until this part here and it fits me great they're a little bit wide in this area so it makes my footsies look a little bit wider than usual but I don't mind it it doesn't bother me it just gives me more room to play and that makes it even more comfortable the fact that they're platforms makes them feel like sneakers that's why I opted for these because I was like this is the sandal version to a sneaker in my mind and sure enough it really is and I am in love with them it's a hundred percent leather then the bottom is rubber and of course the straps here are adjustable they are a little bit big for me but nothing that I can't fix if you need another hole it's easy to punch in another hole to fit you properly I will link everything down below but yeah I'm super excited $150 for like every day and then I don't have to worry about wearing my expensive shoes to work because there's no way I was going to do that and beat them up I can't go wrong I'm just happy that I found something a little bit more affordable for Daisy because Daisy has a freaking expensive eye and sometimes I feel like taking my eye out I own the quintessential Dr. Martin boots when I was like 15, 16 in the wine color and for the life of me I don't know what the hell happened to them it was so long ago but have you ever owned Dr. Martin's? let me know down below